Now look in the 19th chapter of Revelation. It says, and a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. We're commanded to praise God. Revelation 19, verse 5, And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, of the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent, Reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice. Give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife hath made herself ready. <clears throat> well, sometimes we forget the great things that God has done for us. That's not true. We we only think, we're only thinking about uh, ourselves. And we're only thinking about our own situations that are going on in our own lives. We're only thinking about how we can conquer our enemies. We can't do anything apart from the help of God. There's no way. And sometimes we think, well, you know, we've got to take charge. And we've got to We've got to, you know, do all of these things. And if we would just stop, you know, and worship God, praise and honor Him, and give Him the glory, rather than trying to do everything ourselves. Sometimes, you know, when we get into all of these works, activities, things that we have to do, we forget the one who's already completed the work. <laughs> sometimes uh, it might be good to remind ourselves that this earth is going to be destroyed by fire. It's going to be burned up. We can work to the day and to, we can work till the dawn, till the rising of the sun, till the setting of the same, and we're not going to change the fact that this world is going to be burned up. It's going to be burned up. All these, all the works that we do down here are going to be burned up. And there's a lot of people worshiping Satan out there. There's a lot of people giving honor and glory to Satan. And, uh, but we have to remember that we need to be giving honor and glory and praise to God. And, you know, we see here in the uh, 15th chapter of Revelation, the third verse, it says, And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. Well, there we go. How many times do we have to be reminded to worship and honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. How many times do we forget to do that? You know, as men become more and more agents of Satan, and as their men turn more and more of their souls over to their father the devil, we should be more and more worshiping and honoring Jesus Christ. Chapter 19 again, verse 1, And after these things I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah! Salvation and, awe and glory and honor and power of the Lord our God. 
For true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. And again they said, Alleluia, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. And all the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye that serve saints, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and the voice of many waters, and the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God on definite praise. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife hath made herself ready. So I want to remind people that it is um, it's great for us to worship and give honor and praise unto God. And we will find when we do it, His Holy Spirit will take away our depression and our oppression of Satan and will lift us in the spirit of His holiness. Do we have a selection? Page number 60. Psalm 135. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise your servants of the Lord. You that in the Lord's house serve him, he got four yards and a king's yard. Praise the Lord, how good the Lord is, sing his name, how sweet is one. For the Lord has chosen Jacob, Israel to be his own. Well, I know how great the Lord is, how the Lord above all gods. For the Lord does what he pleases, in all heaven, earth, and lands. He it is who lifts the vapors from the ends of earth and seas. Who with lightning brings the rain down from the star the wind sets free. Who through all of Egypt's firstborn, under Egypt's wonder sin, signs to Pharaoh and his servants, who completes their kingdom's rent, mighty sign of abation, then the kings of Canaan fell. God their land gave to his people, with the world to Israel. 